about the internet of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. Moving the whole revolution forward. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Turf Hour Script. Let's get right into today's very important video. We have some highly confidential transcripts of Brad Garlinghouse. You gotta take a listen to what he said here about Swift and about XRP. This is crazy. You do not want to miss a second of this video. And there is a patent by MoneyGram that has been going around, but in today's video, I'm gonna verify that it is true. We have the verify stamp on this. This is crazy. Blockchain firm Ripple to end partnership with MoneyGram. This was back two years ago. And then what happened? MoneyGram partners with Ripple competitor Stellar will settle transactions with USDC stablecoin. XLM is gonna perform well. I just don't hold any and I, dis I shared you guys uh, my reasonings why in my previous video. It's gonna perform well, but there is a bigger picture behind this whole money gram and stellar. Bart Van Hoek, currently he is a lead product manager at Ripple, and prior to that, he was head of product innovation at MoneyGram. And when he left November, 2021, take a look at these dates. There was a patent that was published, right? So this is it. And it's for a system and method for providing an automated trading platform for cross-border settlements. And this is the patent. And take a look at this date. It was published and filed hit on his way out of MoneyGram, November 15th. And as per LinkedIn, he finished November the same year. What? is going on here how does this make sense because in 2023 it was published and it's active and it's live what's in this patent well i can't open multiple windows of this browser because you could only have one open so i've highlighted some parts out and they're talking about how xrp is going to be utilized within moneygram it is a moneygram patent it went on to say, RippleNet forwards the request internally in order to use Ripple's XRP for fund transfers in step 208. And I'm, I'm gonna skip over the, all the steps that it talks about here, um, but I'll also leave the PDF in the description down below. You guys could check it out yourselves. In step 236, the web app posts the settlement payment to the RippleNet, which forwards the request in step 238. RippleNet sends orders and transfers to exchange B in step and then etc. Take a listen to this. RippleNet communicates to Exchange A to execute the transaction. The Exchange A converts US dollars to XRP in step 248 and withdraws the XRP from the XRP ledger. The XRP ledger performs a digital asset exchange in step 252 and deposits the XRP into Exchange B in step 254. Exchange B converts the XRP into the desired fiat currency in step 256 and forwards the fiat payment to the payout bank slash location in step 258. That is absolutely crazy, folks. Can you believe it? Why would MoneyGram have this patent live and published? And take a listen to what Brad Garlinghouse said here in this highly confidential video transcript. Um, this is crazy. You know, Swift has kind of been a sleepy giant. They've taken pot shots at us. We continue to get intel from the marketplace from former Swift employees, which we covered on the channel, and also people we just know on our network that they're getting more aggressive. In fact, I believe, and I might get this wrong here, the details, but they actually have gone to banks that have signed with us and said to them, basically, they will give them incentives to not move traffic into Ripple. Wow. Know what do you think? Oh shit, that sucks. I love that. We have their attention and God damn it, we're going to kill them. 
and smash that like button. That was very aggressive. I, that, wow, wow. And take a listen to this about heat. So they were talking about at all hands in meeting in uh, April and they were talking about the price of XRP a little bit. So he went on to say, the thing I will point out though, is that having this as a strategic weapon to help build the business is totally game changing. And he's referring to XRP. I've been in the Silicon Valley doing stuff like this for 20 years. I've never seen anything like this. The opportunity it gives us. Any Texas Hold'em players here? Come on, that's it, I love that. Gary is one of them, his hands up, that went up. Okay, a couple of hands. By the way, we should have Texas Hold'em night because some of you guys need to learn how to play Texas Hold'em. And that is what Brad Garlinghouse said there. That is crazy, folks. I'm trying to go reread that. The thing I will point out, though, is that having this as a strategic weapon to help build the business is totally game changing. I've been in the Silicon Valley doing stuff like this for 20 years and I've never seen anything like this. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and smash that like button. I do appreciate it. every single one of you guys. I'm losing my breath. I gotta take a sip of water here. Uh, we got a special episode coming after this video. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The Secret Weapon, very bullish. Bart Van Hoke, verified, leaves MoneyGram with a patent utilizing XRP, still belongs to MoneyGram. You can make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. MoneyGram International, Van Hoke, published January 31st, system for payment providing automated trading platform for cross-border settlements. November 15th filed, November 2021 departure, comes to Ripple, well, well, well. With that being said, we'll be back with. We started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.